This is part two of our look at hardware used in communication systems. And specifically today, we're going to look at bridges and gateways. Now, these two devices are very similar. So firstly is the bridge. And a bridge is required to connect one network to another, but they have to be using the same protocol. So here I have network one, and I've got three devices connected together. If I want to connect this network to another network, firstly, it needs to have been running its own protocol. I then get a device known as a bridge, okay? And the bridge is then used to connect this network then to network two, which may have a similar setup. But basically, now these two um, networks, as long as once again they are running the same protocol, can communicate with each other running through the bridge. A gateway is pretty much the same thing, though one major difference. A gateway actually allows devices running different protocols or networks running different protocols to communicate with each other. So here I have network one once again, and it's running protocol one as before. But instead of using a bridge now, I'm going to use a gateway, okay? And this gateway will allow me to communicate with network two. And network two is running a different protocol, which we have named in this case, protocol two. So in this scenario, I would not be able to use a bridge. I have to use a gateway so that network one can communicate with network two, which is running a different protocol. So in summary, I hope you understand that a bridge is used to connect different networks together, but running the same protocol. And a gateway is used to connect different networks together, but running different protocols.